Not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. And today we're going to talk about our first game of Pandemic Legacy, Season 1. Season 1. See, Season 0 would technically come first before <laughs> 1, but this was the first released Pandemic Season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we... We just played through our first first game of January. Just got through January, and we were successful. We did not need to go into late January. <laughs> yes, we were successful in early January, luckily. But we weren't too successful. We, we weren't too successful. Because we did not meet the first objective. Did not meet the first objective? Yeah, we had... <laughs> the first objective would have been to cure all four diseases. Oh, true, true. And we ended up getting too That's many... Right. Um, epidemic cards before that point yes. so we ended up having to draw and get a new objective so yeah so this at the beginning of the game we had to put this little notification token on the the second space of the uh the third infection or third space of the infection rate track so that at the end of our second uh epidemic card we would read whatever that would give us and that ended up replacing our current objective with this new one um which <laughs> which only required us to cure three cure three diseases because it also made in this case in our case the red disease harder to uh get rid of mm -hmm. and we could no longer actually cure it yes so yeah the coda 403a oh, they call it i think or c zero d a <laughs> whatever i'll call it coda coda 403a <laughs> We call it red. We call it the red cube. <laughs> but no, that's that's so we ended up getting rid of all or curing the other three. Yes, we, we got rid of we, one. We eradicated yes, one. We eradicated blue in hopes that we could maybe at the end of the game get uh, a bonus to put into blue with a, a perk that we get at the end. But we ended up not doing that. But it was yeah. it was still good to eradicate it, even though I don't think we really needed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because that let us not have to focus on any of the what a two blue cards we had going through. <laughs> so we didn't really have much going on in blue, and that's why it was so easy once we cured it yeah. to eradicate it. Um, but yeah, what do you think of the the new one of the new things to this game is when there's an outbreak in a city, you increase the panic level in that city. <laughs> Which, we only had uh, one outbreak um, mm -hmm. in the whole game, luckily. Mm -hmm. um, so that was in Mumbai, so that is now a level one panic, which is nothing currently. But once, you get, once it gets a little higher, we'll remove any uh, built stations in that city. Mm -hmm. They'll burn them down. And any um, characters, when those uh, cities end up falling, will be lost, which is actually destroyed. <laughs> rip up your character <laughs> right um, we luckily have not had that happen yeah yet yet <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and you also can have your characters scarred if they're in those zones when mm -hmm. they yeah yep but i think that could happen even at the first level yeah potentially yeah but luckily we did not have that happen we didn't get either of our characters scarred yes. speaking of which which characters did we play i i played the medic which was um I get to remove, when I treat disease, I get to remove all of the cubes of one color um, and automatically remove cubes of a cured disease, mm -hmm. which, which wasn't, because we kind of cured the, this one, which was very easy, and then we cured these last two in back-to-back -back turns, so I didn't mm -hmm. get to use that second ability uh, very much. Um, and his name was Pete S. D. Interesting I character. That, I thought that was a fun name. Interesting fella. Well, I had the researcher, which allowed me to give any one of my city cards uh, when I share knowledge. So usually you have to be on the space you want to be giving the cards. Like if you wanted to give mm -hmm. the yeah. a red card of Hong Kong, we'd have to be on the same space for me to give that to you. But I'm allowed to give you any cards and it need not match my city. And a player who shares knowledge with me on their turn can also take any of my city cards, which is also... A nice thing that allowed us to do that back-to-back -back turn, oh, yeah, getting rid of sure. black and yellow. Um, and her name is Glenda Trunks, the researcher. <laughs> Glenda Trunks and Pete D. <laughs> there we go. 
but yeah, I really liked the. Or I'm, I think I'm gonna like how that works. Mm, we, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that ends up. Because even though the the um, possible scars and and panic, because um, yeah, because even though we only had one um, outbreak, mm-hmm. when in a usual game, however far late in the game we were, we knew we were gonna be able to cure it in the next few turns, no matter what. Mm-hmm. So we weren't at too much risk. I mean, Black was getting a little, a yeah. little sketchy. Yeah. But <laughs> Black had uh, multiple cities with three. So, yeah, if we would have hit either of those again, yeah. and they were right next to each other, so it could have caused some pretty big damage. Yeah. So that could have caused quickly. badly, but instead of kind of ignoring that, since we had it in a good place, good amount of outbreaks, you still really did not want that panic to be up for, for the future games, <laughs> right. especially. Right. Yeah, I was still so worried about that. I feel we were ex- a little extra hesitant to yeah. have an outbreak. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know this early on in the campaign if... We would want to have too many of those get yeah. you know outbreaks early because I'm not sure if there will be other things we have to do in mm. future rounds that might make it a little bit harder, more likely yeah. to get those. Um, so yeah, I figured well, let's not get too many in this first year or month, yeah. <laughs> just in case. Because yeah, if, if we lose a game, that's going to mean we likely hit eight mm. of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be eight out there on the map somewhere, and. I have a sneaking suspicion when that does happen, they're going to be kind of in the, possibly like a general area right yeah, next to each other, area. which is going to make it make it tough really, as they get more and more. Yeah, this this area seems to always get so so bad. Um, this black area, especially Istanbul, is usually in the center of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's ah, so <laughs> many, so we luckily many. didn't have Istanbul come out. I so many think. nightmares. <laughs> Yes, in past games of pandemic, for sure. Yeah. Um, and I guess um, speaking uh, or going back to the red having not been able to be cured, um, and it requiring two actions to t- remove cubes mm, yeah. there. How do you think that's going to play out for the rest so of the game? So that's going to be here because that was forever. Yeah, that was something that happened because we hit that third one without curing all four diseases. For we hadn't mm, actually cured yeah. any diseases at that point, so we weren't even close. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like. It's already hard to get over here. Mm-hmm. And then that's that. It, yeah. For some reason, like, we always say, like, oh, we can get over there from the West Coast. And we never do. I don't know that we ever really... I mean, I'm sure we have, but yeah. generally we do not ever take that route no. for some reason. I don't we know why. fly somewhere over <laughs> here and we kind of slowly work our way. And mm-hmm. then maybe we'll go back to the, the West Coast from over here, but... Yeah, we almost never, ever do that. <laughs> right. Um, so, so now I'm questioning, because at the end of the game, because we were successful, we got we got two perks, and we could either add an event to one of the city cards. Mm-hmm. Um, we could add, uh, what was it? We could add, add a, upgrades to upgrades our players. Upgrades to our characters, or we could put out a permanent, um, a starting research station, like mm-hmm. the one that's already in Atlanta, to one of the spots where we had built one that game. And we had these two options, oh, either Shanghai here in the Car- Khartoum. Khartoum. Khartoum or Shanghai. Um, and we chose uh, Khartoum because it's a little more central to the map and that we could kind of access <laughs> over here, um, red by going off the west coast, which now I'm starting to question <laughs> since that disease is harder. Yeah. We maybe should have done that one. Now I'm getting a little worried. Well, we already stickered it, so we did it. It is what it is, because yeah, for one of our upgrades, we did end up choosing Khartoum, uh, and then leaving that station because we thought it'd be good to get another station out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, And then I ended up uh, getting an upgrade for Pete D, um, and that is local connections. Once per turn, you may treat the disease in a city connected to your city. And I thought since he's already good at specializes in treating diseases that mm-hmm. that would that would be a really good one for us to to use mm-hmm. yeah and i think that means for sure we're going to want to use pete d in future games but um I'm still debating if we if i should use uh, glenda trunks in this next game or if we should tr- I, mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one we use or yeah, but uh, i was wondering if we yeah i wonder what those. of you that have played <laughs> this have you usually stuck to the the same characters throughout mm-hmm. the whole season, um, or have you mixed it up? Especially with two players, right? Um, you yeah, just I kind believe of there's five, them out each game. five yeah. different characters you can play. So yeah, yeah, I was I've, wondering. Yeah, I wonder. 
I don't know. What, did what did it say? Do. I don't remember in the rule book. Did it say you can change from game to game? Which ones you use? Um, yeah, it did. It said you don't have to use the, the same character in okay. uh, each game. It didn't say anything about player count, so I assume you could you could probably adjust that as well. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's really anything that that determines uh, based on player count. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, then also for winning, <laughs> um, we got one of these cards. You'll be going through these cards, this legacy deck, um, and someone will say stop and read mm -hmm. whenever you do something in the game. Um, <laughs> and when <laughs> when you win a game, at you, least you will get the win bonus um, mm -hmm. which will apply to the the next uh, game you play <laughs> and this says win bonus scratch this bonus off to win a game if you win a game in january so it's kind of like a a lotto scratch off so mm -hmm. we thought oh just grab a penny or a quarter or something and scratch <laughs> this off and how long how long did that take us <laughs> did it take us like five to ten minutes <laughs> we, to yes, get we, that scratched off we used two coins we used a uh, fingernail and we <laughs> used uh, uh, another like nail file like tool or like a some sort of tool to kind of part mm -hmm. of that that took us like I yeah, five to ten minutes <laughs> trying to get that off it was not easy to scratch off yeah i don't know if you can see the damage i'll probably put a a close-up shot on the screen <laughs> But yeah, that is luckily <laughs> some damage. Luckily, it says destroy this card at the end of February, so we won't have to be looking at this throughout the whole season. <laughs> right. But I am definitely looking forward to doing this at the end of every game. <laughs> yes, because we're definitely we are going, going to win. We are going game. to win every single game. <laughs> we're gonna have this done in one year. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luckily, we can at least read it. I was worried. I was getting worried. I'm like, oh boy, I might scratch it off. You have to scratch hard mm -hmm. to get that off. You do. So yeah, unless unless there's some sort of di some sort of scratcher thing that people are supposed to use for this. I'm surprised. I never. That seems like something that people would talk about, and I've never heard anything no, about a problem with that. Maybe exactly we just it. did it wrong. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe. I don't think there's. Maybe a we'll have to look it up after this game and see if people have talked about it. Mm -hmm. So I guess yeah. that wouldn't be something I would look into. I wouldn't. Yeah. Specifically, be like, does Pandemic Legacy Season One have issues with scratch off <laughs> things? Yeah. So maybe that's why we haven't seen it. Yeah, I think an interesting choice we made too was to not, even though we eradicated the blue disease mm -hmm. once, yeah. to not um, give ourselves yeah. a benefit Cause against that in the future. Because we, we would have to. It has. Uh, a series of upgrades you can have for those right. um, and you'd have to start at the lowest one which maybe deterred us a little bit mm -hmm. to go towards the the character upgrade and the the uh, um, station mm -hmm. instead um, and I wonder I wonder if we will do much of this I'm not sure ah, I and I wonder know. if that'll come back to bite us I, I think it I think it would if we don't if um, we don't at least we, do it on one yeah Cause, I mean reds I assume Red's gonna some be are hard. Gonna, some are probably gonna get harder. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, I don't. That might I, have I been a mistake. Gonna have, I think we're gonna have to pursue it at some point. I don't think it's gonna impact us too badly in the in February, but eventually. And <laughs> I, I don't not. like how many of these stickers there are for <laughs> for the very like panic either. levels. Yeah, I don't like that either. It's a little scary. <laughs> oh boy. We will see. But yeah. Was there anything else in the first game that? Cut our attention. I think that was um, mostly the, how it went out. The board and the connections are a little different. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely down here in Santiago, usually that was more of a, a dead end that you could all only access from from Lima. Mm -hmm. and you kind of had to go back out there, and you just we rarely went there. Um, but now it kind of connects over to Buenos Aires, mm -hmm. which also I think this is a new connection connects over to Johannesburg. Yeah. So I don't know if those connections will change throughout the game. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Because pretty pretty cool pretty neat new new board yeah i liked i think oh, so far i'm liking how also oh boy we have this board <laughs> kind of like an, an advent calendar <laughs> for christmas uh some things will prompt you to go to one of these boards these top secret dossier boards and it'll say open in this case this was 19 mm -hmm. so you can so that's what we peel a piece of cardboard oh, off and it'll 18's coming open oh, god. spoilers oh god they saw everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that's a that's a fun feature fun thing to do to <sighs> rip the door open and, it's, and see yeah, what definitely happens. a little bit different than the other ones yeah we've done but yeah i i 
I enjoyed enjoyed the play of it. It it felt a little bit different, not too yeah. far different. Yeah, yet. not too different. Uh, um, but but yeah, I, I just, with the amount of objectives that you can have, because throughout the months you're going to be needing to complete mm -hmm. more and more objectives, which I'm guessing is a max of five. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like what you're trying to do in the game is going to change a lot, mm -hmm. as well yeah. as the diseases out here and the yeah. the panic in the cities. And yeah, for sure. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see kind of how how it changes as we as we go along. But and I'm I'm not saying yeah. It seemed like that was an easy round. Mm, yeah. Uh, but I think I'm happy with that because <laughs> I feel like if it had been if it a had bad been, game of it, that could have put us off on have. a really bad yeah, start. Because <laughs> Black started off very bad mm -hmm. right away. Um, luckily, with my ability, I was able to to clean it up quite a bit. Um, but as Rory, I'm like, if we get a lot of of outbreaks very early in the first game, mm -hmm. it, it's gonna get it could <laughs> affect the the whole path of the the legacy. Mm -hmm. uh, but luckily, we were able to avoid that. Yes. No. Otherwise, I think I think we're ready to play game two. I think we are. So we will let you know what we think of that one and how if we how lived, easily we win that if one. If we lived, if we died, <laughs> if any characters we might not were lost. If if any characters were lost. <laughs> well, if a character is lost, we really, really somehow messed up one specific area because it'd have to get to oh. level five, wouldn't it? Oh yes. <laughs> so that would... I don't think I could rip these characters up. I know, I'm already attached attached to Glenda Trunks. <laughs> she doesn't even have any special upgrades yet. <laughs> But I wonder what the relationships will be. Yeah. That'll be interesting to see how that works. Yeah. But no. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one. And don't forget to keep on nibbling.